Eurogrip tyres by TVS. Not just any grip, Eurogrip. It's time once again for our Eurogrip tyres presents all about the grip. It's getting harder and harder for bowlers with the kind of record scores that we're seeing. So Ian Bishop, legend that he is, I have switched the microphone from your hand and given you something you prefer, the cricket ball. Used to prefer. Thank you very much for having me. <laughs> and Bish, this is where I want you to break down three balls that every T20 bowler must have in his arsenal. Thanks for having me, first of all. Um, and it's three deliveries that I think are primary. They're not the only three deliveries. This is not an exhaustive yep. explanation on how many deliveries. Obviously, you've got your normal seam-up delivery, whichever way you want the seam tilting. You've got your cross seamer, right? For when the ball gets older, if the pitch is holding just a little bit, the seam runs that way as opposed to seam up. Yeah. So those are prerequisites. Let's, let's just do that for the dummies like me, right? right. Let's focus on your grip there when right. you go seam up to cross right. seam right. as well. It's just that subtle, such a handy ball. Yes. The scramble seam or the cross seam. Right, so the thumb is underneath and genuinely up front, you're looking to swing it or seam it by tilting the seam. You've got your wobble ball where guys will hold it with a slightly steeper angle, mm. yes? But that's kind of more upfront mid-innings bowling. If you're t coming down to the back end of the innings now, yep. where we're talking about off cutters, some guys will hold it down the line and then run the fingers down this way as they let it go. I fall with a slightly steeper angle and pull down on it. Mm. You have to have one of those in the modern game. The alternative to that is to go leg cutter, where you're going down the other side of the ball with a fairly fundamental grip, or you can have a steeper angle of the seam position and pull down yep. that way. So those are three deliveries that I think are fundamental. Guys like a knuckleball, where the control it is a little bit harder, so that's another option, but we're sticking with our cross seamers, our off cutter and our leg cutter for today's explanation. Great, so that's part one of it, yeah. when you load up and when you actually release it. Yes. What can you advise to execute those balls well uh, for where it lands, of course, at this end right. of the action? So now we've moved from the grip and you mentioned loading up there. We see with someone like a Pat Cummins as he loads up, the grip then changes. Some may say it's fairly early, mm. some may say it's fairly late. I know guys who will load up, the batsmen will be watching and as they're coming down, slightly change their grip yeah. a lot later. Let's just focus on that one more time. Let's right. try and zoom in to your hand over there. It's hard to and miss. And that's very good, but you have to do it in slow-mo, which, right. which makes it easier, I guess. Which is how I would bowl right now, slow motion. <laughs> uh, so as you get into your load up and you get up here, mm. the best batters in the world like Ronald Kapoor, Brian Lara, uh, Rohit Sharma will be looking closely at your hand position to see what the grip looks like. Mm. Hence the guys who go early and change their grip into an off spinner's grip almost. Good batters or some batters will see that. So some guys will keep an orthodox grip and then as they're coming into their downward rotation and get about here, they suddenly change the grip into whatever delivery they want to bowl. So as late as possible, so, they are able to, to disguise that. Deception, I guess, at the end of it. It has to be deception yeah. because it doesn't make sense the batter knows what's coming from because they're all looking for an early indication what's coming. All right, and finally, <clears throat> where you executed over here. I'm the batter over here. It's one right. thing if I've released it right. Right. But what can you tell us about where it's supposed to go? Because any ball can go if you miss your length. Right, so oh, having, no. having the variation is one thing. The execution of it is another thing. And we can talk about being clear at the top of your mark as to what you want to bowl. Is it a Yorker? Is it a off cutter? Yeah. Is it a back of the hand slower ball? All of those variations, but where am I putting this here? So let's start with the Yorker. Mm. Right-handed batter at the crease. Right. We're going onto the crease line. Middle stump? Let's, stump? let's stay middle and off stump. Right. Let's so be let's more minute. Right-handed yep. bowler coming in. Yep, that's where you want to be landing. So right. over here. So that's your Matisha Patirana, mm. for example. Let's go to Matisha Patirana, yep. low arm, his stock way of bowling the Yorker would be for it to slide in from over the wicket with a low arm. So that's the traditional sort of attack the stumps yeah. 
Yorker, which is absolutely vital. I love that delivery. If you can bowl it, Jasper Bumrah, mm. that's his. That's an attacking Yorker, isn't it? It is an attacking Yorker There's in the that sense. Now. There's the other kind where we're talking the wide line. Just around here, flirting with the wide Somewhere game, around yeah. there. Defensive line. So they say, mm. right? We can go into a whole nuance on that. So that's where you want to stop guys perhaps from hitting sixes, yep. guys who aren't strong, or hitting fours. Very difficult to bowl. I don't want any ex-player looking at me and saying, Bishop can say that's easy to bowl. It's not easy to bowl. Very, but you have to have it in the modern game. The other nuance to that. I can hold the ball. You can hold the ball. You're not accustomed. <laughs> Traditionally, batters would stand here, right? And this is where that Yorker on the crease line came into play. Yes. But batters are so clever. They've decided, since they're so good at that, mm. we are going to be back here. And now that becomes something that I can slightly get, get under. Up. MS Dhoni going back a little bit further to a number of other batters, yep. right? So now you'll find that that may not have to be there. It may have to be here. Brilliant. So much to think about for bowlers. Bish, thank you so much for that. Any final words? It's not easy, I think, is the most appropriate. It's not easy. This is not exhaustive. A lot of this depends on the bias of the field. If it's bigger that way, you'd want to go wide line. If your skill set facilitates the straight yorker, you go straight yorker okay. and captaincy comes into that. So this is not exhaustive, but these are just a couple of fundamentals. I love that, you got, that we got Ian Bishop on the segment to actually do a little bit of batting. And that wraps up a wonderful edition of our Yoro Grip Tires presents All About the Grip. Eurogrip tires by KVS, not just any grip, Eurogrip.